let's go to metalink.oracle.com okay once we are <coughs> logged into metalink.oracle.com i can search on correct j developer for e business so when i search for correct j developer for e business it should send me it should give me a link of articles and from those links let's say this one right customer recommended so if I click on that link, I can scroll down and I can see that I can download a JDeveloper patch for any eBusiness Suite 11i or Release 12 version that has been uh, delivered by Oracle so far. I'm interested in Release 12 1.1, so I'm going to download this patch 8431482. After I've downloaded my patch, I'll get the zip file here. So what I'm going to do is to cut this or to copy the zip file and then. I'll create a directory, okay, I've got cdev, in that I'll create a directory called oef and within this I'll create a directory called r1211 and within that I'm going to paste this zip file, okay. Now once we have got zip file, I can right click and say extract here. This is going to take a minute or so. So we will come back once the zip file has been exploded. This is going to create three directories, jdevbin, jdevdoc and jdevhome, right? Okay, so <coughs> it's almost done and this has created three directories and I'll go to jdevhome, jdev. I go into this directory, copy the name of this whole directory, okay, copy the full part of the directory. Then I go to my computer, right click on properties advanced system settings environment variables click on new and i'll create a environment variable jdev user home with this directory okay i click on ok click on ok again click on ok again i can test by doing set jdev underscore user underscore home right once i've got this steps done i now have got jdeveloper set up to be run now the first thing I have to do is to create a shortcut for this developer. So in my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder for OEF. I go into that and I'll create a new shortcut. Sorry, a new shortcut. New shortcut. And I'll select C dev OEF R121 JDF home JDF bin. Sorry, so R121 JDF bin jdev bin jdevw.exe okay so i have created a shortcut for jdev bin jdev bin jdevw.exe and i'll give it my name called i'll give it a name called jdev r1211 okay now i can double click on this start my developer. Do I want to migrate? No, I don't want to migrate. So once my developer has been, has, has started, I can then click on OK, click on close. I can go to file, open, and I need to open something called as workspace. My workspace is going to be in my JDEV home directory. So I go to JDEV home, JDEV, my projects, and in here I will select JWS and I I can open toolbox.jws file. I'll click on yes. Okay. Once I've got this file opened, it will open the projects which come shipped with the JDeveloper for tutorial and practice purposes. Click on OK again, click on OK again. click OK again we haven't defined a connection as yet not a problem so here I've got a tutorial project right so what I need to do is I need to do two things I want to run a page which is which belongs to the tutorial project itself before I can do that I need to set some properties I double click on the tutorial project or I can right click and go to properties okay I can right click and go to project properties expand the oracle applications tab runtime connections 
I need to first thing I need to do is to enter a DVC file. Now to get the DVC file, I'll go to Putty. Okay, and I'll go to dollar fnd underscore secure. Here I can see my DVC file. What I need to do now is to copy the file from here via FileZilla. You can use any FTP tool as you want. So I log into my server on FileZilla. I go to the Unix directory, which is this, and on my left hand side I've got my JDF user home directory slash dbc files slash secure. So I can right click and download the file. Okay. Once the file has been downloaded, I click on browse. I go to JDF home, which is here. In here, there's a directory called DVC files. I go to secure and I select my DVC file. I'll select the username and the password. Uh, this user has got a sysadmin resp responsibility, system administrator responsibility. The application short name is sysadmin and the responsibility. Is this system administrator? This is the responsibility key. Okay, I've selected this. I can just right click and rebuild my project. So, what I've done so far is I've opened the JDeveloper, I've got my JDev user home set up already, and uh, I'm rebuilding one of the existing projects that is delivered by Oracle after configuring it against my eBusiness Suite instance. I've given the DBC file name right now. Next thing for me to do is to go to application sources, Oracle apps, FND toolbox, tutorials, web UI, and I can run something called as home page. Okay, so I'm going to right click and run the home page. Click on yes, that's fine. Click on yes again. That's fine as well. It's okay. I haven't yet defined the database connection because I'm not building the view objects or entity objects so far. So I just click on OK. What I'm trying to say here is that in order for you to run a page, you do not need to define the database connection in JDeveloper. So hopefully that should run my page. And if this runs, then then you are ready for OI framework development on a release 12 instance. Let's give it a few seconds. It should be there the first time. When you run the page for the first time, it takes a few seconds. And after that, the information gets cached, and it's much faster. So there you go, you should have a page any moment. So that's really it for this tutorial. You can apply similar logic on your specific version of release 12 as well. Uh, which could be release 12.6 for example, then you have to go to Metalink and download the respective patch. Thank you very much.